Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm back with more of the Reader's Digest journal and this is for our beginner junk journal series here on Dear Julie Julie. We are doing this every day while we're home at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So we have just started on our Reader's Digest book. We gutted the cover yesterday and we got went ahead and started picking out our pages and now we've got some more pages to go through and so we're going to go ahead and just get right into this we are going to be taking some of these grid pages out of this journal here that was it was it was my dad's but it was he used it to draw in, apparently. Um, we did, I showed some of his silly little drawings yesterday, and um, I'm so glad to have found this. Okay, so we are just going to go ahead. It is a sewn, really nice sewn journal, and so we're going to go ahead and uh, undo these pages so that we can use the pages side by side these will make great pages in the beach journal that I'm making so that's going to give us some pages I do like to have graph paper in my journals when I can Okay, so that's going to give us two. Maybe a third one. Let's see if that worked. Yeah. Okay, so that's one for each signature. find another center aha there it is okay so you can do this with a composition book also usually they're sewn together and you can just undo them and use the pages They'll have their, their natural place where they were sewn, and that can go right into the center of your journal. I, I really like using them, plus I get a full page um, out of a composition book. Okay, so as many as this is, that's how many we'll have. <laughs> there's one, there's two, there's three, and maybe this one, maybe. Okay. Very cool. So we'll have those. And then I had this tissue paper that I think is, makes, it's not tissue paper. I think this is paint paper. I think these are paint palettes right here, but I'm not positive, but I think they are. So we are, how, we are nine inches that way. And so we'll just cut it this way and give us our seven and a quarter and we'll get one for each we're almost done with our papers i am going to want to add some more um lined paper but i think we'll 
we don't you don't need to to watch that <laughs> I'm just gonna so I'm gonna look and see if I can find the composition book that I had that was older um, that had started to turn color I haven't seen it for a little while so I might not be able to find it um, so I might use the vintage paper that I have here so there's those can just be folded in half We've already done that. We've done that. I'm going to save this and see if I need it. Okay. Our next one that I do want to use is this amazing paper. And I usually cut this with um, my, my, my thing like this that's longer. Like wrapping paper so because um, this is longer than wrapping this is longer than this um, okay so I'm trying to think if I want to have it have a pocket I think I do look at that look how nice that looks oh my gosh this is gonna be so amazing so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and cut a piece of this is this a little long enough I might not have the wrong, long enough ruler at all. Okay. Well, we'll do what we can here. Okay. So there's one. I'm going to do the other ones um, <laughs> off camera. So, okay. Okay. So, we need it to be, if we fold this, we need to go ahead and, and cut. Okay. So if I measure, this is our 10. I'm going to go um, just outside of it so I can come back in and, and cut it if I need it. We'll be able to use these also. Okay, here we go. This edge is straight, so I do still have a straight edge that we can we can use as our straight edge. You want to, if you can, keep one of the natural straight edges. You want to do that. Okay, so there we go. We'll just cut that. Now we have two straight edges. Now we can come here and. Let's see. Go ahead and cut this. And we'll have three straight edges. And this. Okay, so here we're at ten and three quarters. So this could be our where we um, get our pocket. Oh, we can get it on either side. So if we go right here. Okay, so this is going to be our side to side this time. So side to side. So this is where our pocket is going to come from, is from this area. Okay, so let's go ahead, put it on there, measure seven and a quarter. And... Measure seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. There we go. And you can see we're going to have a pretty good sized pocket with that one. Okay. The thing about a good sized pocket is you get stability in your paper from the good sized pocket. This paper has a really cool feel to it also. It's a great weight and a really nice feel. There we go. And again, I bought this roll at Hobby Lobby. Um, this was when they were having their clearance sale a couple years ago. I was able to pick this up. I am going to clean that up.
probably made it worse. I did. Okay, so that will be the inside cover. And also we'll be doing something like that for our the covers of our signatures with the same the same paper. So I'm going to need to do that two more times. And um, I'm going to put that down there so it can start flattening. And there we go. So let's see what we have for papers. And we have our pile of scraps over here. And a lot of these we'll be able to use in the journal. Okay, so these can just be folded in half. So this could be tissue paper, it could be parchment paper, noisy paper. I, like I said, I think these are paint palette pages from when my mom painted. Okay, and then I'm going to put these in groups of two and one group of three. Okay, I like my graph papers to be together because I usually, for myself, and of course this is, this journal will be, um, when it's finished, it will be available in the Etsy shop for sale. So, um, but I still make things like they're, like they're for me. <laughs> okay, so there's two twos and a three. We've got these short ones. We have our beautiful cover there. We've got our two brown pieces that have the pockets. Two shells that have a pocket. And I still have the paper. Or these are flips, right? Yeah, these are flips. Um, I still have the uh, paper if we decide that we need another one of those. Um, there's our cardstock. And our other cardstock, we have two of the ledgers. Then we have, these are our girls and our ocean. Okay. Some more noisy papers. And old papers. Put those down with the other ones. This is pocket. We have coloring book and book pages. We have more coloring book pages. And another coloring book page. Okay, and then we have our envelopes, put those down with the shorties. And we have our map pages and the list pages. Okay. So that's a good stack of pages that we have. Probably too many. Usually I start with more than what I need and I can usually make a second journal <laughs> that's okay so let's go ahead and grab our cover and how in the heck do we lose the cover <laughs> here it is I was looking for this side and it was this side okay so the first thing I'm going to need is I need to reinforce the inside. I have some chipboard here and I think this is from a paper pad. I save the chipboards from the paper pads, um, all the different kinds of paper pads. So it looks like I'm going to want to fit it into this space down here and so I'm marking it. And so this time we are leaving 
the spine and we are reinforcing it. So, um, you know, in the cereal box journal, we made the entire cover out of two cereal boxes. In the catching butterflies was a soft cover. The we did the composition book where I used a composition book. I wonder if I need two of those. Let me feel that. Yeah, I think we'll do two because we've got um, that is really substantial. Okay. So we're going to want two that are exactly or close to exactly the same. And I usually bring my cutter towards me. The pressure um, seems to help it come when it's coming straight at you. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have two of these in this direction. Now we need to go ahead and cut them here. Okay, so there we go. We'll just go ahead and I guess we'll cut that one off. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, we're, we're filming and everything, so why, why would it go right? right okay so next I want to check this I'm going to make sure that all this is cleared out cleaned out and um, then okay we are good there because our our folding area is this here okay so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there I'm going to use my Mono Tombow liquid glue. We're going to try and use one of these. Okay. So I liked one of the things that I like about the Tombow is the bottom has a broad tip and it will send out a lot of glue as long as there's not a hole in the bottle which does happen sometimes okay so let's see if we can get some glue it's coming out ah, sometimes they've been compromised and they won't come out so I save my bottles of glue when I get towards the bottom To be able to use every last drop because especially in these days when you don't just get to go to the store because you want glue okay so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and cover this now the other thing that's going to happen is this glue will when it dries it hardens and it will help with the stability of the spine as well And put the first one in. Make sure I have glue on the end there. And I do have glue up there. So, glue and glue. And hold it down. Okay, 
and then we can start on the second second one and uh, I'm just pressing down as I go because I should still be holding this down I love this glue because I could use it for everything um, it dries clear it cleans up really well love 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 this glue but one of my favorite features of this glue is this broad tip that I've been able to get you know almost every drop out of my glue container okay here we go so I have two pieces in there and oh my gosh what a difference okay So next I'm going to want to add, well, I want to, I want this to actually to dry, um, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next part and bring in my fabric. You all have seen this batch of fabric before this came from my mom we'll use this piece okay and we're going to go for the light area well don't see the fabrics oh there they are they're behind the gigantic red scissors okay. I'm just going to cut a piece out you can rip it do it, cut it however you want to and I can cut here as well and I'm going to lay this in the center now this is going to be it's going to help with the binding of this journal and um, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep going we'll glue the center this is a wet glue so you have a little bit of time but it does because of these lines that are in this it does dry pretty fast okay okay so there's that and I think we did good there. It sounded like we were at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and just use this one because otherwise we'll be here while I try and find the next one that I can use. So I'm going to go across here. I'm going to do this side first. I'm going to cut pages, papers, and I should have cut them first um, to go in here. But it's okay. I want to make sure I go all the way to the bottom tap this down put it in the crease here that's going to be your most important part okay see I want to make sure that we're going to be able to fold it so while this is drying you're going to keep checking that 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 crease okay there we go then we can come over to this side and we'll do the same thing we're going to add our glue to this side if you do one side at a time you can make sure that it doesn't dry in between okay again over to this side get it down in that crease Come over here get it in that crease and you'll see it'll try and steal from each other so you don't want any of that And 
and I'm okay with it overlapping down here. I will probably fray it after it's totally, totally dry. Because if I try and fray it now, um, I'm afraid <laughs> it will, uh, actually I know it, it will just move it and not, it's not a good idea. Okay, so there is the inside. Okay, so we can go ahead and just keep making sure that, that it's staying down. And we can move that aside. We're going to keep checking it. But we're going to go ahead and first get the glue off the, the table. Okay, and then we are going to pick out paper for the inside. And, um, you know what? You remember that blue that was in the thing and it had one good side and the other side was too flowery? That one was red. Oh, it was brown. Never mind. That won't work. That would. Okay, I like this. I like this very much. Okay, so we have this right here, like this. Houndstooth-ish. Matches the cover. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and come up with our pages for the inside. I'm going to go to there from this side. And from there to this side. Okay. So that two. Yeah, let's make sure that our, especially the inside, we want to make sure that those two stay together. Well, maybe not especially. Especially all of it. We could put that brand new one. No, we, we're using the lid for it. I don't know how I lose the lid. Well, yeah, I do. I was going to say, I don't know how I use the lids. Yeah, I do. I lose, I lose stuff. I lose stuff. That's just how it goes. Okay. So there is that. We can cross that off. Okay. We're going to come over and let's see. About how long do we need these? About there. Okay, so doing the old thumbnail or fingernail bend measuring technique. And hopefully we did it right because I think this is the only paper like this that we have. So let's measure ish. That will give us one side. This will give us the other side. And then we're going to want a pocket. I Well, I like pockets. And um, because that we're not sewing this one, I'm going to do, an un I call it an undercover pocket. So... Um, here we go. I make up my own names. <laughs> so it might have another name out there somewhere in the universe. But I'm going to call it an undercover pocket. And I'm going to use the shell paper, I think. Yeah. Okay, so... Are these the same? I didn't. I I don't measure them to be the same. Um, I measure them by the size of the page. Okay. So let's go to there. That's where we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut this right there. 
We'll still be able to use this somewhere in the journal. And then we'll cut this at six inches because that's like half. And there we go. So we're going to put it on top. If we fold it in half, it's going to give us a three inch pocket, and that's going to be just fine. Okay, so fold it in half, adding it on here like this. Okay, we'll need to cut it down a little bit, but if you can get an idea of what we're going for there, do the same thing on this side. Again, these are my own undercover pockets. So this one needs about that much cut off, and this one needs just a sliv, a sliv, totally just a sliver. So we'll just come over here and cut the sliver. I'm cutting it from here because I like the, the grunginess, dunginess of that side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on here. And I'm going to start with the back. Actually, I don't want it to. We'll just. It's going to be behind the pocket, so. There we go. Up and around and around. There we go. And then up here and up here the bottom okay so the back gets glue okay and we'll set it so that it's on there flap up and let that dry okay make sure it's within the there we go Okay, so that's a flap up pocket. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Let's make sure that this is staying down. And so what we're doing is we're just repurposing <coughs> an old book. And we're going to add beautiful pages to it. Oh, I didn't cut the I didn't cut the signature off. Dang it. Okay, we'll, we'll just we'll be ready. You can hear the wind. You can hear the wind. It has been just wind crazy today. Not a big fan of wind. It knocks things over. I don't like things knocked over. Okay. The last one knocked baby birds out of the tree. I didn't like that at all because we didn't catch it. We, you know, it was in the middle of the night. So, was up on. Okay, so undercover pocket. Okay, let's go ahead and see how we're doing here. I normally do this in stages. We're just like trucking along here. 
like nobody's business. Okay, we're going to go ahead and this is the back with the brown. We're going to add our top back onto this one here. And go ahead and add our glue all the way around. Now you could go ahead and stitch on this ahead of time. And um, it'll look like you sewed the inside of your cover. It would look really cool and interesting. But I'm not going to because I'm not going in the other room. I'm on the iPad and I don't want to have to um, to edit this video unless I have to. And Because then what I have to do is I have to send this video to the, the other phone to the phone. I have to send it to my phone to to be able to do anything with it. Because Anyway, here we go. I really, really like this. And you can see, you know, it's, it's like I dread doing this. And then once you start, it's like, oh, this is going to be so cool. The cover, that is. That's why we still haven't done the May Mayhem, but I was I'm looking for a couple of things that I that are in my stash that I haven't found yet that I wanted to use as pages. Just because the French uh, fashionista, the 1919 French fashionista, would be so perfect for that. But oh well. Kind of been cool to have the the embellishments ready though, like we did with the cereal box journal. I did a lot of the embellishments before I had the the um, before I didn't put them in the book right away. I just kept making them. Sometimes that's just how it gets. It's like I just want to make stuff. I don't want to be um, you know, putting it into what it's going into because I'm not sure that I'm <laughs> all that good kind of creative that day or whatever. So, okay, so here we go. We're going to put this one down. Oh, I love how this is coming together. So again, I'm using a Reader's Digest cover from 1967 and I wanted to keep as much of the natural book as I could but the spine has been compromised and is going to need um, to be it needed to be reinforced so this is part of the reinforcement that we're doing right here. And this is a little bit, I could, probably could have made that one a little bit bigger and brought it in, but it's okay. Once you get the pages in here, that kind of thing you won't, won't notice. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure that we are on all the way around. Make sure that this is still staying down. See how we, how we look here. This is the really important part. When the, when you're doing um, this cover, you just want to keep going around it and make sure that it's going to stay down. That's don't don't move on to the next thing here. So if you are here and you're at the premiere, hi, I'm waving. I'll wave while I'm while I'm just going around the edges and around the edges. If you're brand new to my channel, I want to welcome you. We all would like to welcome you. Make sure you come on over and say hi in the chat, especially if you're here during the premiere. And, um, you know, don't be afraid to jump in and join in on the conversation. Um, let us know what you're making for dinner. <laughs> uh, you know, you just, you might save someone some time because they can't figure out what to make. No, um... But yeah, that you you just never know. You you might really help somebody out one day. Um, so again, we're going around the edges, making sure that they are all 
staying really, really good. And I am going to be reinforcing the outside of this as well. So, okay. Um, okay, let's see. I said I was going to fray this. But I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. The top is going to be harder to clean up because remember the top was compromised. Okay. I like this very, very much. What do you think? What do you think? So I, I've kept the line of the original. So, and then I have reinforced the, the spine with the um, cardboard or the chipboard from the back of a paper pad. So like a um, lined paper pad, the green legal pads. It's probably what it was. I have a bunch of those from, from my dad. Um, okay, so let's go around the outside again. It's, it's just, it's worth it to just keep going around the outside. So if you, um, have just joined us, we are working in our Reader's Digest journal. This is for the Beginner's Junk Journal series here on Dear Julie Julie. This is the fourth journal that we have made in this series. And there is a playlist in the description box below that shows you the other journals. We just finished a box made, or a box, <laughs> a journal made out of cereal boxes. Uh, before that, we did a composition book um, cover. We did a soft cover journal. We've used the free digitals that I gave um, everyone for that was participating in this. The free digitals are in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. That's where we get to get to hang out and know each other a little better but it's also where I get to put the the fun free stuff and um and that so uh do if you're interested in that do go ahead and join make sure that you answer the questions when you ask to join because I have a wonderful gatekeeper and she will not let you in if you don't answer the questions <laughs> Um, and that is just for the safety of everyone in our group. Um, let's see. The other thing that we do here on the Dear Julie Julie channel is, I'm still, you guys, I'm doing this. This is not just about I'm trying to come up with something to say. So we do a challenge each month. This month is the May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge. And the videos for that fall at 1030, the premiere. And, um, that's every day. The beginner series is at four o'clock every weekday. And, um, so there is, there's what we've got so far, you guys. And so next we need to do this. And you know how I love this canvas. I mean, I really, really love this canvas for for using on the journals and I'm thinking I, I that's what I want to do okay I'm thinking I just want to add that okay so you're welcome to join us um, every day 10 30 and 4 Pacific Standard Time um, they are premiere style so that means they are a pre-recorded video that comes up and it comes up and we all get to watch it together. And it's really been a great feature. And um, we, I, we love it. Uh, we have several people that have been unable to uh, get their computers to come up to be able to watch the live videos. So we decided on this to switch to this format as a community and um, so that's what we're doing yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and put 
goes down here again this is this reader's digest is from 1967 it has the books life with father the fox and the hound nicholas and alexandra the gabriel hounds and christy okay so i'm just adding the glue I was thinking about putting another fabric under it, but I, I think I'll, I think I'm going to be fine with just this on the edge. I just want to make sure that there's plenty of glue in the gaps and everywhere. Okay, and then here we go. Okay. Line it up, press it down, I usually use a pen for that, <laughs> a pen cover, pen top. Ooh, we've got we've got glue okay so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that that's good and in I use a pin top okay pin top yep like it like it very much okay so now I need to get up that glue um, gosh I don't have a, a use there let's see if there's any um, baby wipes down here nope they're gone okay Let's see. I have a dryer sheet. Because, <laughs> you know, you sh everyone should have a dryer sheet in their craft room, right? At least it's not coffee dyed yet. Okay. Oh, good. It's cleaning up well. I'm going to turn it so that I'm right handed. Okay, so <laughs> the cleaning up part. Okay, so how many of you made a journal out of a Reader's Digest book before? Um, I have, uh, one of my first ones was a Reader's Digest, and the thing is, and I bought, and I was given a bunch of them, and the thing that happens is that they're measurements are different as you saw in the video where we were cutting the pieces for the journal and um, you know it's just it takes more time but I have them and I need to be using them you know okay there's that oops let's clean up the bottom make sure
So, oh. there's any more places. Okay. Get all the glue off the table. It's almost time for a, a refurb on the table there, huh? Okay. Okay. There we go. So, and this book has some roughness around the edge. I love that. I might even add some more with the sandpaper that came in my little kit that I get to use. I'm using a partial kit, a partial um, at the beach kit from my Etsy shop. I had I had a partial kit, so I'm gonna use, use that. Okay. Okay, so there we have our inside pages. We did the undercover pockets and um, Okay, so we're, that is a great way to be able to get a pocket and know that it's going to stay, um, at least the bottom. <laughs> you do want to keep, until it's totally dry, you want to keep checking those, side, those sides because they'll pop up and not look good from the, from the side. So you want to make sure that you're your pages are staying down, that everything is, is just working really, really well. And this time it is. So I don't know. What do you think? I'm, I'm thinking possibly one of the, the pictures of one of the beach beauties as my... On the cover, I'm going to look at it. I just want us to get an idea of if I like it. So, I always like, well, the little girl is, is awesome. So she would be, she would be great. I don't know why that's glued. I don't remember gluing it. Okay, so we have the ephemera pages also. So like, she could be on the front. She could be on the front. She could be on the front looking. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think the one with I think the one with her looking like that. Could put one of the big ones. No, nope, too big. Too big. But I like that. So, I really I really think I'm going to and we can just go ahead and do this and get it done. We'll have this done and it can be be drying. So, I think we'll do this one down here it's a it's a journaling card and I'm gonna go ahead and rip it and by ripping it while, while it's right here on the the set of cards I, I will have more more room to rip it will it should rip better than it when I come in and try and rip a card that's already cut, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm holding with my left and tearing with my right so I get that, so that the torn edge shows up on the top. Um, 
I really like that personality of of torn paper and I like that that shows up on the top okay so there she is and maybe we could put her on top a piece of the fabric will it fray yeah I'm afraid so okay so we're gonna fray the fabric and it wasn't ripped, so it's not going to have that cool, soft edge. It's going to, it, it was um, cut, so you're not going to get the, the cool, soft edge that you get when you rip. Go ahead and keep fraying, and then we'll okay. And so this one, uh, one more edge that needs it. You can see there's strings hanging out. Let's start near where those are. <laughs> Pull. And when you get it to where you've got the edge exposed, then it could be a little easier. Might not be. Okay. You can use that, that mess for messy strings if you wanted to. Messy thread. Okay, and then we'll come over here. And you see that? there okay so that's going to give you the frayed edge burlap would have been kind of cool too or net net would be cool something that looked like a net okay but this is what we're using inside so we might as well use it on the outside so I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on the back of this Add it here. And then I'm going to put glue on the back of this. Also. Then I'll see if I can find a um, quote, possibly, to go on here. I did have out some. This one. Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. Um, that's from a stamp. I don't know if I want to use that on here or not. So, but I'll think about it. It'll be ready if I want it. Okay. But we'll think about that. Could also come over and go on the spine. So we'll be playing with that. Okay. How are we doing? Our edges look good. It folds really good. I think we have done, I think we've done really good. So, um, that is 
that part of our journal. Now I think the one other thing is we can go ahead and put the holes in for, let me see, I don't know if I want to do um, which kind of closure, but we'll go ahead and put the holes in. We'll have the whole cover. I was looking for a, a metal colored one, but I didn't have one. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure up. Grab our pen. and three quarters. And three and three quarters. Okay, so I did three and three quarters. It's kind of like right in the middle of... I'm going to go ahead and use my crocodile. I'm going to circle that circle and go ahead and punch the hole and I'm going to come over here and make sure that my I don't want to punch into that fabric it would not be the end of the world but I do want to make sure I'm up away from the edge especially on an older book you know, you don't want to. Okay, so there we've got that. Go ahead and clamp it down. Ooh, nice. Okay, and then come over to the back. Put this one through. And clamp it down. Okay. And you know what? I think on this one we will make a um, tassel. So let's go ahead and put the hole for the tassel. I'm going to use the larger hole on the crocodile. I'm going to come down a little ways on um, this time because remember the top of this one was was compromised okay be really careful there <laughs> got a whole lot of stuff going on there okay now I'm gonna come over and I have some of I don't know what they're called but they're a little this little thing that has a ring on it the thing with the ring and let's get one that's more grassy than copper I think that one's silver <laughs> okay I don't know if you can see I've got this little box of stuff so I think we'll take that one whatever color that is it might be copper it's okay whatever it is Okay, so it's a brad, so we're just going to go ahead, pop it out, pop it through, and we'll have this little ring that we can hang a, a bead dangle or a shell dangle right on that. And there we go. Okay. So look at there. We have the cover is basically ready for signatures and 
and other attachments. So I think that this is going to be, be wonderful using a Reader's Digest cover. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let this continue to dry. We'll be back here again tomorrow at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time for another premiere. And we will be choosing the papers and adding in the signatures unless I just decide that we should go ahead and make some embellishments because sometimes I do things a little out of order just because I my brain just doesn't want to do what I'm supposed to do next. So, so But the plan is signatures, um, at least get them together, maybe not sew them in. But there you go. That is our Reader's Digest. So the if you enjoyed this video, you learned anything, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and you'll hopefully, YouTube will let you know every time a new video comes up and when I have set the premieres and find something to celebrate every day. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Watch these videos right here because YouTube really likes that when you go watch another video after you watch this video. And um, it really helps my channel. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.